Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fastlane Truck and I am at the 2016 Easter Jeep Safari with this behind me. This is a concept vehicle called the Crew Chief 715. It is an homage to the Kaiser and it is one of the coolest looking vehicles here. It's definitely military looking, I'll tell you that. And if you look at the tires and the way it's set up and everything else, oh my God, I cannot wait to take this on the rocks and that's coming up next. Well, the, uh, this thing is pretty neat. It's uh, basically a, a crew cab uh, Jeep uh, Wrangler based, if you will, JK based. Extended, uh, of course. Extended, and with a, uh, with a bed on the back. So it's probably like every Jeeper's delight. To it's have. like a mini me Kaiser. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's where Mark and his guys, you know, when they did that concept vehicle several years ago, yeah, they debuted out Kaiser. here, it really, it really struck a chord. And so you can see in the front end design how it's a, kind of a mild evolution of that new Kaiser. And then the bed is a little bit more military. And the, and the color palette is uh, for both the, well, basically the interior is a lot of black. You can't go wrong there. But the exterior, it's kind of a paramilitary kind of a metallic uh, and I love, earth I think tone. Mark said they're 40 inch wheels, is that right? The, the tires, yeah, yeah 40s, 40 tires, and, yeah. And, the and, the, are, and the wheels are a unique thing that they uh, had custom made. You know, it has a really unique statement and even just a lot of the toggle switches and things that they've done. Yeah, the compass, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, so what do you get? Auxiliary, compressor, rear lock, front lock. I was hoping those are missile launchers myself. Yeah, there might be some of those like hidden <laughs> somewhere in here also. <laughs> yeah, so where do you hook up the 50 caliber mount? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, I always wonder, you guys design these really great uh, concept vehicles, and I wonder how they would be received if you could actually, you know, build these. The problem is, of course, I think that to build this, it would be so expensive, right, that you couldn't make it approachable for most people. Well, it everything has a business case, and yeah, and, yeah, and on top of that, you're uh, selling every Wrangler that you can build. Yeah. So then you got to find out where you're going to do it. Yeah, where the capacity is. But you know what's really cool? You know, uh, Mark and I have kind of had these discussions before where you think of the Wrangler, it's almost like a modern version of the 32 Ford where it can be modified in so many different ways and have its own unique aesthetic. And if you really think about it, there's not many vehicles today where you can actually do that. Where you can take the fenders off, you can put different fenders on, powertrains, stretch them, lift them, drop them. You can do anything with it. There's, there's always that group that, you know, go nowhere where man has gone before yeah. and you kind of wonder, you know, if, <laughs> if there was some kind of a street cred type of uh, vehicle that yeah, might yeah. have that, what it would look like. Because our, our viewers just, you know, see these things and they're like, I want it. Take yeah. my money. Yes, those take the, my money, those please. Are the comments, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm sure you'd love to take their money, but the problem is it would be so much money that maybe they wouldn't want you to take yeah. it. <laughs> well, you know, and too, when we do the fabrication and the builds on these, we start out with a quote and we start out with a sketch and uh, a lot of hand waving and yeah. go down around and left. Yep. Where he is. Yeah, between those. I think it's between those rocks right yep. there and then yep. back there. And then, uh, you know, the games begin because you find out it's a journey of discovery and you add more money and we need this, we need that. And they aren't cheap. They aren't cheap builds. The average consumer probably couldn't couldn't do it. <clears throat> so what's it like to drive, Nathan? Well, I'll tell you. It is like driving a long Wrangler. In fact, <laughs> the um, turning radius, not the same as a Wrangler. And I'm going to kind of turn it a little bit so we can get down the silver flight direction. But it's relatively yeah. responsive. The steering is not as heavy as I expected. Um, and I, I like the driving position a lot. It's awesome. Yeah, it's like if you, if you own this, you need to do a three-point turn just to get into your garage. Yeah, <laughs> well, it has the same turning radius as like a full-length 
crew cab, mid-size pickup truck. Um, actually, it might be a little bit worse, but that's not the point. The point is, everything else is awesome. Um, I'm just touching the accelerator. It's not gonna have a problem going really anywhere. I've got all these buttons that I wanna push, but we'll get mad. It's really neat seeing the big bed back there too. It's, um, you know, these guys are talking about, well, you know, production, I don't know, but think about it. If you guys actually communicate with the guys over at Jeep and FCA, they may come up with something that you can actually purchase and slap on the back of your Jeep. They've done it before. So you're saying you may not get the, quite this vehicle, but you could probably get a, you may, you may get a part or two out of this. You can certainly get that beer bottle toy, toy soldier. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us out here in Moab. It was fantastic driving. TF oh, just go to Jeep Week on TFL truck and TFL car. You know what the coolest part of that Jeep is? What? There's a little soldier, a little army soldier, uh -huh. Mark Allen stuck on the back license plate with a little gun like. <laughs> okay, that is pretty cool. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, we'll show it to him. All right, check out TFL truck and TFL car, Jeep Week all week long. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I get it. Look, it's not a soldier, it's a bottle opener. <laughs> <laughs> Those crazy Jeep guys, they like their bottles. Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck and behind me a very special concept. This is the Jeep Comanche Concept. It's a pickup truck and it's based on a very interesting vehicle because it's a car. This is based on the Renegade and it has a two liter diesel engine from overseas and a winch and a six foot bed. And coming up next, I'm going to drive it. Okay,